Welcome to SQL Server Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to virtualize Oracle database in SQL Server 2019. Here are the topics we are going to cover in this tutorial. To complete these steps, you have to install SQL Server Management Studio and Azure Data Studio first. Please view my previous videos about SQL Server 2019 to understand the installation process of SSMS and Azure Data Studio. Run SQL Server Installer and select Polybase options to install it. Installation is complete but Polybase is not enabled by default. Run this SQL statement to enable it. Second statement is for confirmation only. One means Polybase is enabled. Polybase service must run under SQL Server Configuration Manager. Before running it, you have to enable TCP IP under SQL Server Network Configuration. Then restart SQL Server service. Finally, start Polybase services. Database virtualization is actually linked tables from external database. SQL Server 2019 extension need to be installed in Azure Data Studio. External table wizard enable us to configure external tables graphically. Click install to start download. Browse the extension file to add it in the Azure Data Studio. Installation complete. Create external table is available now. Now we are fully ready to configure external table. Right click on demo db and select create external table. I have created demo db for this illustration but you can use your own database whatever you like. You can change target database from here. You have to select source database, SQL Server or Oracle. I am selecting Oracle. Set a complex master key password. Type external data source name. Type source database name or IP address with port number. In database name field, type Oracle TNS name. Type anything here as a new credential name.
Click here to expand database objects. Select necessary objects or tables you want to virtualize. Click next. Then click create to complete the wizard. External table successfully created. Let's open SQL Server Management Studio to view external tables. Expand DemoDB. Under table, you will find external tables. Here is our two tables. We have virtualized them from Oracle database. We can use it as like a local table. Right click on the table and try to retrieve 1000 rows. So our virtualized table has successfully retrieved data from Oracle physical server. That's all for today. Please subscribe to my channel and if you have any query don't hesitate to comment below.